Okay, so here we've got a round table. Um, obviously, as you can see, as you go around here, we've got this little return here that's going to be covered. We've got a slight bevel return, and I'm hoping to get a little bit underneath as well, so there's more vinyl stuck. Um, I've got some pre vinyl pre-cut. I'm going to go for a nice marble effect. So the principles from the beginning are all exactly the same. Take your, separate your backing from your vinyl. And obviously get it in position, making sure you're loud enough to wrap. You can start off with just a small bit, just to get it obviously stuck to your surface. Make a start. And then just as normal, work your way along. Plays quite quick, but obviously this was a small table anyway, so I'm just gonna put that there, get my heat gun. This one should go around relatively easy. Again, just give it a slight stretch, just so you can see it starting to mold around that first edge. Again, you're just going to work your way around. You'll start to see some of the vinyl will bunch up, but when you start heating, that will go. Just got to be mindful of not putting too much heat on, obviously because it'll melt the vinyl. but still saying that, enough heat to pull it and pull the creases out. Probably tend to find that last bit, you want to heat a bigger section up, just so you can pull the crease out. Turn that off for a minute. And that's just to show that our first edge, leading edge is done. So let's get on a bit that's cooler. So what I'll do now, is heat the next bevel bit. Which again, you can just work your way around, just making sure that it's tight on any change of angle in the wood. As you go along and work with these types of vinyl, you sort of get a bit of a, a know-how for when to put the heat on and off, when's too much, when's not enough. And that's that next second edge that's done. Um, I'm thinking I might put that there and then again you can start heating and see where you can pull. So it should be, I might need my squeegee.
with this, because I want to pull it over quite a lot, I'm pushing with the squeegee. Just because there's a lot more to um, push over now, because obviously all the vinyl is bunching up. Because what you tend to find, you get to a certain point where you won't get all the creases out, but I'm gonna trim that back so all them ones there don't matter. What you'll tend to find as you go round, you might notice and see more creases, which I think near the end, you should be able to pull it up and get rid of them. Because what I'm gonna do now, look, I'm left with a lot of vinyl there. What I'll do is trim that back. And on this one again, I'm just going to heat probably more of the vinyl if I can. And then what I can do is keep working around. It's better to, once some of the bits have cooled down, you can relift and just take that crease out a bit further. Otherwise, if you go over a bit that's too hot, that's what tends to melt it. And I'm gonna obviously trim all this back anyway. Sometimes it might look, when people are wrapping things like this, as if they're rushing. But I'd say it's not, it's just making sure you keep the temperature and then get it laid quick enough for not that crease to come back. Should be enough to the end. Just for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to rough cut the excess off. But again, you can measure it, making it a bit neater. Not that this one would be messy. And as you can see, it's all completely flat around every different angle. So there's your marble table.